Hey guys, my name is Nibiri and it's time for another kicking of the week and today I want to show you the weirdest way that I layered and processed a kick. The kick that we're going to be talking about today is this kick. And something that just really stands out to me is just the drive that the tail of the kick has. And I created that in a really weird way and I just want to show that to you today. So we're just going to go to the start of course and I just picked some layers. None of these layers are made from scratch, but um, I just felt I wanted to make a kick with some layers. So I took a punch, I took a till, which I slightly pogoed so it would have more of a pitching effect. And I took an extra punch and I wanted to have this punch um, at the triplet point in the till. So these layers uh, without effect sound like this. And the um, punch, the second punch is quite faint in there, but it's uh, still a really important sound. After that, I just added a reverb from this punch and just made it a little bit more moving. So you're getting uh, this kind of drive when you're playing it with the tail. Now that we're in the mixer, I'll show you the effects that I put on here to make it a little bit more aggressive and more of a unified sound. I've only used these three effects and if you've never heard about Disperser, Disperser is a great plugin to just um, play around with your punch or your till. It looks like this and it's basically making a movement in um, your kick. As far as I know, it's not really an EQ, like it's not moving a peak, but it's something doing just something with the face. And it's just a really important uh, tool for this kick that we're having over here. And um, the way that I use this is just putting it on a sound and just play around, swoop around with this until it sounds nice and maybe add some more punch. And then afterwards I adjust the amount. So if you're gonna get this plugin, just get a nice frequency, then maybe pinch it a little bit more and maybe lower the amount. Just play around like that with it. And after that, I just added this EQ and its EQ is just to add some bass so that when we distort this with this distortion, um, it's just getting a little bit more tight. So if you add bass before a distortion, it can sometimes just limit the space for your kick. So it sounds a lot more crunchy and it sounds a lot more tight. So our kick sounds like this at first without effect. And then we're gonna add our disperser, which does something weird to our kick. Then we're adding some more bass with the EQ. And then we're gonna distort this. And Disperser is just really an important plugin in this little chain. If we take it away, it's just gonna sound a lot different. So Disperser is a really, really nice tool to get a new or more creative sound for your tails. So now we're in the next step and we have our um, punch and our till. This till is the um, till that we created with the effects on the uh, previous layer. And um, I just added this little cut of the um, till underneath the punch to just unify them a little bit more. And after that, I just wanted to distort it. So we're having quite an easy EQ over here. It's just a basic bass boost and a little bit on the resonance. And then after that, we're just gonna open Disto FX and I've just opened it to the second and through open the amount. So it's quite an easy effects chain. And this brings us from uh, our more clean sound that we're having right now to this. So that makes it quite aggressive, but that makes it really nice for this kick. And when we export this and we just cut this up so we have our separate punch and a separate till. We can use these as a layer underneath our kick that we're having over here so we can make it a little bit more aggressive. And that's what I did. I just um, deleted this part, just muted it and uh, just layered this more aggressive version of the kick underneath there. And putting that in the right volume, we're going to get uh, this type of sound. So if we take away that aggressive till, it's just going to sound a lot more empty. So it's making the sound more full, but it's also making the sound a lot more aggressive. And then on the bus over here, we just added a little bit of distortion to just get it a little bit more distorted, a little bit more tight. 
and then just another EQ to just balance it out a little bit more, giving it a little bit more bass and just some highs. When you're making a kick, sometimes you're really getting the sounds that you want to have, so your tail sounds nice and your punch sounds nice, but then when you start looping the sound, it just sounds not as good as you want it to be. That's the stage that we're at over here. Just listen to this ending and listen to how that goes back into the punch. It just doesn't sound as right as we want it to. <laughs> It just sounds a little bit too crispy and just a little bit off. So what I did is I just exported this kick and then we're gonna go into this next step. And over here, because we have our till, our final till layer, we can just easily stretch this a tiny bit so that it fits a lot better. So um, let me just show you, really just listen to this ending over here. And that just sounds a little bit off. And if we stretch it a tiny bit, That just sounds a lot more clean. So sometimes you just want to stretch your tail a tiny bit to just make it fit a little bit better with your punch. So we're at this point right now where our punch sounds nice and our tail sounds nice, but we just need some extra lows in our punch. So I'm adding this kick two layer. That's just gonna give a tiny bit more bass to our uh, punch and that's just what it needed. These little layers really make a big change at the end. And then I added some extra punch layers. So this is a percussion sound and this is a clap. And they separately sound like this. And this one. And putting these in this um, punch layering, it just sounds really nice. But right now it sounds all right, it sounds snappy, but there's just something missing that's just really giving a nice um, punch in here, you know? And sometimes that's just when you need to add an older punch that you have. So I'm adding this layer, and this one's just really spiky, and it's really transient, and that really pulls our whole punch together. So um, sometimes you just have to add a new punch layer, and then you can really just go from this to this. So this um, second finished punch layer over here, it just um, brings some more content in like the middle of the mix. It just gives it some more body and just uh, a little bit more transient and yeah, just finishes our punch. Then after that, I just wanted to add a new uh, reverb from our punch again, just because our punch was a tiny bit different and a part of that... Um, because we distorted it so much over here with the tail, it's just gonna lose the clean sound of the reverb. So I just wanted to add that a tiny bit more. And all that's left to do is just limit the kick. And after that, it sounds like this. But to finish this up, I just wanna show you the power of the disperser plugin that I showed you. So let's just get a nice kick in here. So for example, this one. And now we might want to uh, pogo this a tiny bit. And that's not even needed, but when we put our disperser on here, we're just gonna play around a little bit with this. Just make it move a tiny bit. And um, after that, I like to immediately add a distortion so that we really hear how this sounds when it's distorted again. So this could be a nice position to put it at or something else that you can do is just move this a tiny bit and then make an automation clip with this. So we can really make this move inside of the kick. And of course we could be a little bit more aggressive with our distortion. And for example, something like this can really be a nice um, character for a tail. And then if you clean it up and just add some more layers in there, you can get a nice kick out of there. So I just want to show you that Disperser is a really, really nice tool that you can use to create a nice kick and a nice character and even change your punches with it. Now, I hope you liked it and learned something from this. And hopefully I'll see you back soon again. Cheers.